Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, every diesel owner should have one of those scan gauge. You're gonna ask me why? Why do I need this? Well, tell you what, guys. If you are a Power Stroke, Cummins, or Duramax owner, or Mercedes Benz, or Volkswagen, this is a must for your diesel engine. This device you program, I will show you some of the details, uh, what it can read. One of the things is your DPF system. Is it active, regen? You know, how would you know? Because the dashboard, there it doesn't tell you if it's in regen or the state of your DPF system. Second, how do you know how much is your DPF is loaded? What percentage? Something nice to know. For example, 29 is 29% is how much it's loaded with the suit. How many hours since the last time regen? If you're a, some of the some of this information is available, you know, it depends on the year, make, and model. For example, Duramax, you can get your uh, balance rate for injectors, and so much more. I'll scroll through, you take a look and see if it works for you. Get one of this one of those things. This is very simple to program. All the codes online. I'll show you. I have a bunch of videos how done for gas engines. And this is something you can program yourself. Very basic stuff, you know what I mean? If this company has an outstanding customer support. By the way, this video is not, not sponsored. So this is for uh, Duramax engine. As you can see, the information that it's available. It's, it's, it's amazing what this device, an expensive device, can give you the information. You know what I mean? Balance rate for each cylinder. Uh, DPF suit mass. Re distance last DPF regen, you know, how many miles ago you can monitor uh, G DPF status, active, on, off, completed, you know what I mean? All this useful information, def level, def range, and so much more. There is just a ton of information, but it's all based on year making model, depending which model you have. So for it, it will be different, it will vary from even for the Duramax year to year because it pulls the information from the ECU from the main computer it does not program anything or modify anything it just pulls the information that's why you scroll through <coughs> see what you want to do what information is more useful to you you know what I mean and go from there because this is a must a must have you know what I mean especially for the emission compliant diesel trucks then I would, you know what I mean, if you're a power stroke owner, take a look at those codes, see what what information is available to you. There is like EGTs, and uh, and so there's so much information available, but it's all based on a year and the model and make, you know what I mean? For different trucks, they have different information available. And um, what it does, it just basically, it pulls the information from your main ECU. This is for 6.7 power stroke. Look all this information. There is a ton of information. Knowledge is power. Because the more you know, the more you can control and do preventive maintenance and you know tailor your own driving habits based on information that your skin gauge provides you. Instead of you know shutting the engine off while it's region, you can look at it, you're like, oh, I'm gonna finish it up region, or and so on. There's just all kind of information, EGR temperatures, you know what I mean? You can study the information, how your system works, and if something fails, you're like, oh, yeah, that temperature range for that sensor, it's not the way it used to be. And if you take it to the dealer and he gives you a bunch of nonsense, you're like, no, that sensor stopped working. That's the problem because I used to be reading those ranges. Now I'm not getting those. Look at the DPF regen style, DPF suit low. DPF suit load percentage. It's just ton of, ton of information. That's all it does. And then if you're common zoners, same thing, you know what I mean? You can get your EGTs, you can get your suit load, how much your DPF is clocked up. You can get information like, uh, there's a lot of information. I will show you some on, it on the screen. Six, seven common owners. This is, this information is from 2013 through 2019, but it's available newer, it's available for older, Different information, some of the, the similar information, some of the same. And look at this information. This is just awesome. After treatment DPF state, you know, all this information, suit load, EGT is different, you know, inlet, output, transmission fluid temperature, 
there's so much information. Look at this boost pressure hours since active region. Huh, that's nice. You know what I mean? You now you can see how your truck is behaving. Maybe your diesel fuel that changes, you know. You can actually see it. Def temperature. Oh, there's ton and ton of information. Something that you're not going to uh you know look at the EGR valve position, EGR temperatures. All this information is there for you to make uh, your truck uh, last longer. If and then you can make your own decision in terms of which information is available to you, which is, is not. Because your dashboard instrument cluster, it doesn't give you any of that information. It doesn't tell you the percentage. It doesn't tell you when the last time the truck was in region or the state of DPF. That's an awesome information, you know. So I'll post the links for the codes. I'll post a link where you can buy this. This is this is the, the cheapest device you can get for a diesel truck that will show you this type of information. So, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.